Hey, Joe Gilder here from Personas. Want to talk to you about clip gain envelopes, one of the brand new features inside of Studio One version 5. Let's talk about how they work, and I'll give you a couple of scenarios uh, of where I will find them useful in my workflow. Uh, but you'll have a bunch of ideas of how to use this on your own as you check out how powerful but also simple this is. <music> So clip gain envelopes are a way to adjust the volume curve or volume envelope of the audio before it ever hits your channel. So pre-plug-in, pre-everything, okay? It actually even comes in before like the input channel. Uh, if you turn on input controls, the input section at the top of the channel, it even comes in before that. In the past, if I wanted to do something like that, like adjust the volume of these notes right here on this vocal, I would have to separate the region and then use this clip gain to do that. That's not a problem and you can absolutely still work that way, but if you do that a bunch of times over the course of a track, what do you end up with? You end up with a track that looks something like this. There's a whole bunch of different sections and maybe then I want to tune this vocal and I'd have to tune it one section at a time to pull it up in Melodyne or I would have to bounce it down and then tune it but then maybe I didn't really want to bounce it and I have to save a version or save it on a playlist. There's just lots of ways that make that kind of awkward. Well the clip gain envelopes solve a lot of those problems. So the way to get to it is to pick the region or the event that you want to adjust and right click on that event and you'll see gain envelope right here. And all that happens, it's really simple, you'll see a horizontal line. Now this looks a lot like our volume envelopes, which you can see here. See how that volume envelope is changing the volume? That's fader volume, which happens after everything else. After the plugins and everything, that's when it hits the fader. But we're talking about adjusting the volume before it ever gets to the plugins. So for example, here's a great example. Let's say you have a vocal uh, or a bass player. Those are two places where I use this a lot. Where the vocalist just sings really dynamically. And while I do want to use compression to tame the vocal and to get the tone I'm looking for, sometimes the vocalist sings with such a difference in dynamics that even a compressor isn't the right choice to balance those out. Maybe it, it would end up being too aggressive on the louder notes and then still not turn up the quiet notes enough. So maybe a way to help that out is to balance things out quickly and easily using clip gain envelopes. So these work just like our other envelopes. I can select this section. If I hover the mouse over the top portion, I can click and drag. And as you can see, the waveform is changing underneath. We are increasing the volume of those specific pieces of audio. Now we can do this in a lot of different ways. If we want to ramp things up, we can set curves where it will curve up or out. We can really get as crazy as you want to get with these, but that's the basic functionality. But again, this is happening on the clip level before it goes anywhere. This is happening on the audio clip itself. So if you think about, there's kind of two ways of thinking about audio in Studio One. There are events, which are these things that I'm clipping on, that I'm clicking on, and there are also clips. And that's what we're affecting here. We're adjusting the audio down at the audio level. We're redrawing the waveform itself, okay? So this is one obvious, really cool example of ways we can very quickly balance out sections. Maybe the bass player got a little too happy on one section and played a little too loud. We can quickly and easily balance those out. And then when we're done, we can just click that button and now we don't see the envelope, but we see the resulting audio changes. Another great use for clip gain envelopes is for cleaning up audio. So let's say you've got a vocal with a nasty pop in it. Maybe who knows what happened. Everything else on the vocal is great, but you got this click that happened. Or maybe mouth noise or breath sounds. All of those things that maybe editing the audio and chopping it up isn't the best solution. With clip gain envelopes, we can come in here, we can select the section where the clip happened, and we can redraw that waveform into something more usable. Or maybe it's something simple like the breath sounds are a little too exaggerated on this vocal. We can do something like this to have the breath fade in as opposed to being as loud as it was. So we don't lose the breath altogether, but we have it a little more on a fade in, and that's without having to separate it and do an actual fade. Now another cool use for clip gain envelopes is maybe you want to take an existing loop and spice things up a bit. Well, you can. Let's take this one. I wouldn't mind if those snare hits were louder, so let's adjust those. I select it and I just pull up that clip gain envelope to about right there, that seems about right. And let me do it on this snare hit as well. And then these three kick drum hits, I wouldn't mind it if they got quieter and then louder. So let's bring that one down. 
Leave that one where it is, and let's bring this one up a little bit. Now, if that's too jarring and too kind of sudden, we can just remove a few of these points by cl double clicking on them, and this becomes a nice smooth fade up. And we can even pull this one back and make this one be a little more smooth as well. So we can manipulate this as much as we want. And what's great, since this is happening on the clip level, look what happens when I duplicate this region out. Boom. Those same things are happening get repeated across every loop. So we can just adjust one loop and the rest will follow. Let's say the whole loop is just too loud. We can select the whole thing and just bring that sucker down and it turns down all of them. Really powerful tools. You can see it's really helpful for both fixing audio and audio workflows if that's kind of the thing you spend a lot of your time doing when you're editing audio. Or perhaps you see the potential of using it from a creative standpoint to manipulate the performance itself to get something that's even more like what you heard in your head and what you want to hear in the mix. Now, if you completely jack things up and you need to just undo it all, you don't have to go back and undo a bunch of times. You can actually reset the gain envelopes. Just right click on the audio, click the audio section there and come up to reset gain envelopes. Click that, it'll go back to like it was, no harm, no foul. If you've done anything with automation in Studio One, whether it's volume automation, panning automation, or plug-in automation, you're already ready to use the clip gain envelopes. Now they're in your arsenal waiting to see what you're gonna do with them. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this, be sure to like and subscribe. we got a lot of great content coming out all around Studio One version 5. And if you haven't joined Personas Sphere yet, check it out at studio1.personas.com.